Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at ways you can save data on your Android phone. So perhaps you might be using too much data, uh, getting towards your limit a few days before the reset date. It's happened to me a few times and this video is hopefully going to help you. So we're going to start off with a really simple tip and that is to get into the habit of actually turning off your data when you don't need it and you're not using it. Uh, obviously if you turn it off when you're not on your phone then it's going to prevent background uh, things in the background using it and you should see a noticeable difference but I'm hoping that you've all been doing that anyway um, the next tip is to set a limit and warning now you can do that by going to the data usage part uh, of your settings and then into the billing cycle section now if you want a more in-depth uh, tutorial on how to do that then you can find the link in the description of this video which will take you to another one of my videos that t tells you how to do that in more detail the next tip is to stop certain apps from using uh, background data so you can go into the apps section and then choose an app that you want to prevent using data in the background tap data usage of that certain app and then you can untick the option that makes it use background data so that should hopefully uh, if you do this to all the apps that you don't particularly use or that you don't um, rely on much then you should save data that way the next tip is to turn on the data saver function in Android. If you go to settings and then down to data usage, there's an option to turn on data saver. And what that will do is it will prevent a lot of apps from actually using data in the background. And like the previous tip, which was just solely on one specific app, this will do it to a lot of apps. Prevent unrestricted. It will prevent unrestricted data access. So all in all, it will help. But if you do rely on the, some apps uh, to to work in the background, then probably don't switch that one off. And the next one is Chrome's data saver feature. So if you don't use Chrome, then this isn't much of an issue. But if you go to Chrome, tap the three little dots, and then scroll down to settings, and then scroll down again, you'll see the data saver option. So what this does is it will compress uh, pages at the at Google's side of things. Um, so you're actually downloading much less. So images on the website will be less quality, so you don't actually have to download as much, and we'll save data that way. The next tip is to find which apps use the most data. So if you go to your data usage and then scroll down and tap on cellular data usage, you'll have a a little graph and it will show you the apps that use a lot of data. So cut down on the ones like this that you can see maps that uses a lot of data because it's you know it's got to load um, maps from all around the world and if you use it for navigation like I do it will use a lot of data so cut down on the apps that use a lot of data. The next one is to stop apps from auto updating. It's likely that this will already be off for you but if you go to the Play Store you can uh, in the Play Store settings there's an auto update apps option so if you make sure it's on uh, update apps over Wi-Fi only then it should stop updating over data. And finally the last tip is to turn off auto syncing so this is something Google does to make sure you account is the same over multiple devices so if you go to your settings and then accounts and then in Google you'll have the option to turn off auto syncing for certain things so things like Gmail and contacts that won't use too much data so you might actually want to uh, leave those on but s turn some off and see if you notice any different uh, any difference in the data that you use so that's it I hope you found at least one of these tips helpful um, if you have remember to leave a like and as always, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.